the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT 9 on my explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. I saw a video on the internet, um, and there was a guy who was getting branded with a CCR, like from Cle- Creedence Clearwater <laughs> Revival. <laughs> branded. Branded right on his chest. Dun, 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 dun. Like right on the opposite side of his heart. Like big, like, like probably as big as like your hand. Yeah. It's a CCR. Uh, um, yeah. People make some odd decisions out there, Jonas. Is there any band artist the that, that you would get that you would get branded onto your no. body? No, no, absolutely not. No, why not, man? No, because so I I'm not a slave to media. I don't know if you know this about me, but I mean, I, you do. You just literally the last episode talked about how much you consumed. I do. I consume a lot of media, but that doesn't mean that I'm like. I, I, when I say a slave to media, I mean like a, I'm not a fan. I'm not a, I'm not a oh, fan like, of like anybody. Like a stan? Yeah, I guess. So sure. But I'm not really, I don't really feel like I'm a fan of anybody either. Maybe I, I kind of fit into that repertoire because I, I consume a lot of like certain people's media or whatever. But right. I'm not like, oh, this person's coming to town. I better go out and see them. I'm not. I mean, I'll go to a concert, but that doesn't mean that like I'm a, I'm like a stand for them. I don't I don't know if I'll even do that at this point. Like you could tell me right now that they were letting Thug out to do a, a concert, and Lil Wayne's going to be there, and um, D, they're bringing DMX back from the grave, and I'd be like, hey, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Well, you've never been a big concert guy in general, though. Okay, but that is all the more reason for me to say. If you know I'm not a big concert guy, that But I've went to billions of concerts. I still wouldn't get anybody's thing branded on me. Y- yeah, but I'm just saying it's like I, I'm not even going to go out of my way to just see you in concert because I'm not that much of a fan. I'll listen to your music, sure. I'll watch your movie, sure. But I'm not going to go out and see you live in concert. So I don't I mean, like isn't you that the same much. thing as seeing a movie? No, I mean, I never see a movie because of a certain act. If they had a Sasuke movie. Don't stop it. You don't do that. <laughs> You're like, first off, don't put that into the ether because I would love that. Because I, that's different. All right. That's di- okay. So yes, if Sasuke were performing live, I would go and see him. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Jonas. Would you get a Sasuke tattoo? I would get a, I would get a Sasuke tattoo, but would I'm get not Sasuke getting one. brand. A branding of Sasuke, the the Uchiha like branding on your arm. If or it, if I could get the curse mark branded on me, I would probably do that. Oh, okay, All right. but it'd have to like give me the curse mark powers. And this is turned into a very nerdy conversation. <laughs> and I want to apologize to everybody else. I am not well, a weed. Okay. All this aside, have you ever been around someone that got branded or new no, people that got? Dude, people do that stuff. They'll do that like in a, like college. They'll do like the the branding oh. of like the Omega on their arm or like. I went to community college, Jonas. What do you want? From You're like I wasn't in a frat. Branded at community college. <laughs> They're like ACC. <laughs> Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, dude, I don't like being burnt. So like branding is just like the epitome of being burnt. Like I hate when I burn my roof of my mouth or my finger, let alone having like, like a J like jammed into my arm. Also, there's like, I don't know, man, it's, that's too much of like something that you do to an animal and I'm not. I'm I'm a human. I we're don't know basically we, animals. I don't though, know right? if you know this about us. We're humans, so we probably shouldn't be branded and. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, Jonas, if there's any band you want to have branded on you, that's one of them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Why would that be one? Why would because C- it's freaking Creedence, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And in the video, the guy's like, lay- he go, he lays down on the floor in a garage. He puts his belt in his mouth. They go, and he stands up like nothing happened. And the girl goes, that's one of the dumbest things you've ever done. He just like shrugs his shoulders and puts his belt back on. Yeah, you got you got a man up. You got a man up. You, you can't, can't be there crying like cry a little after bitch. You get branded. Yeah, especially if you ask for it. <laughs> yes, that's you can insane. cry if you're not asking for the brand. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. In fact, I suggest you cry before you get branded if you're getting branded against, against your will. Against your will. Yeah, I mean. If somebody had me held captive and they're like, we're going to brand you, I think I would probably cry. Yeah. And I think you can you can come from a similar idea because me and you kind of shared the whole idea. It's like neither one of us are like fans or anything. But is there a band that you hold in high enough regard? 
where you would consider not even getting a brand, but getting like a a, a memorable tattoo no. for that band. No, no. I'll go see them in concert, but I ain't putting their I ain't putting ink to skin for that, dude. No, not even Metallica. You wouldn't do <laughs> I mean, that. Would be one of the least ones. <laughs> I'm def. I mean, I I'm a, I like Metallica, but I'm not a Metallica boy for sure. <laughs> like, no, dude, I don't think I would. Uh, you know, the closest thing I would think about doing is maybe getting the Sublime Forty Ounces to Freedom Sun because that's a okay. cool looking. That's a cool okay. looking like graphic yeah. on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wouldn't say Sublime. It would just. It would be that Sun. But yeah. like, still, I'd be like, no, dude, I'd rather just make my own thing that was similar. Like maybe like kind of take that vibe and make something, but. Yeah, I, man. I guess it's just that the fact because, like, even to even a hundred percent contradict myself, I guess it's the fact of that it's a person or a group of people. I'm not putting your band. I'm not putting like uh, Val Kilmer across my back. I'm not doing that. But when it comes to like a video game, I will one hundred percent get a because tattoo it's not of a video like dedicating game. to a person. It's dedicating to like a character or whatever. yeah and like if it's, it's like a a feat like a, like i would get a batman tattoo or something like that or you know like a character that has had a lot of and to me that's almost the same thing but i see the difference yeah like it's not like it's like if it's a real person that's almost like like going after a false idol yeah and a character is more like i enjoy this thing yes it's it's the same thing but it's not it's a there's a lot like if i got a pam anderson tattoo or i got a jessica rabbit tattoo two totally different things yes. both creepy if i had them but now i will say that there is a difference because say you had you were going to get a joker tattoo right okay okay i'm gonna get a joker tattoo which joker are you gonna get uh, no are you gonna no, get but... the joaquin phoenix joker are you gonna get the uh, gonna, Suicide Squad Joker with the <laughs> madness across his head, forehead? Or are you gonna get the uh, the Jack most, Nicholson? No, not the Jack. Nobody's getting a Jack Nicholson <laughs> Joker. Or are you gonna get the what's the dead guy who did the Joker? Oh, Heath Ledger. The why so? Ledger, why so? Uh, one of the best Jokers say? Why so, uh, to ever. Why so something? Why so serious? Yeah, one the, of the best Jokers to ever grace the silver screen. Are you gonna go with that? Joker? That would if I was going to, that would be the Joker I'd go with. Okay, that's the best Joker. And see, and I would look at that and I'd be like, I would probably go with the Heath Ledger Joker as well. And that's kind of like getting a, you know, it's like getting another man tattooed on you, I guess. But it's because of he, he is what I think is synonymous with the Joker in my mind. But there's plenty of people out there with the uh, with want the Jared high, Leto with the Leto Joker. Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah. Uh, the uh, Jim Carrey. Oh no, Jim Carrey did the Riddler. He did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, who else did the Joker? Def, the dude, the the Joaquin. The new. They're making a new Joker movie. Yeah, like, I saw dude, that. that is going to be so sad. The other one was so sad and I loved weird. It, it was yeah. good. It was, it was great. Of, so dark. Yeah, it was one of my favorite movies uh, of the year. Honestly, yeah. That was one of my I went favorite. I saw movies. that with my miss with with my missing friend. And see now, if I get a Batman tattoo, or if I were to get a Batman tattoo, I'm not getting a Batman tattoo. I don't care how many likes this videos get; it's never going to happen. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely not getting a Robert Pattinson Batman. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not going to happen. I, like I'd feel bad if you owned that movie. <laughs> if anything, I'm getting the uh, <laughs> Ben Affleck Batman. Oh god. <laughs> The, the the bat the bat woman cat woman from the Robert Pattinson Batman. No, I'm not getting that cat woman. If any cat woman, I'd get the uh, L. McPherson. Who was you know, her name? I don't know. I the first remember. cat woman. Oh, uh, Halle Berry. No. The, oh, the really old one from the show. Yeah. No, not, not no, not Eartha Kitt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, who was the white who was, who was the white lady that played him in the uh, the Penguin movie? With uh, oh Michelle you know, Pfeiffer, Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah, she I was pretty Elvis hot as Catwoman back then. Yeah, Halle Berry was kind of hot as Catwoman too. Yeah, but the movie sucked. Oh yeah, dude, and the game that oh, yes, that Batman movie was really bad. Jonas and me are some of the few people that I've ever met that said that the Robert Pattinson Batman movie was not not so good. I won't say that it was bad. I will say that it was not as good. Like as I it, was, it was. Yeah, be. I mean, like okay, but here here's here's that fine line. Like I didn't loved it. I didn't leave the theater, so I finished it. It was long as f. So <laughs> it was three hours yeah. long, or like two and a half yeah. hours. Or something. I will never watch it again. No, I have no no yeah, need to. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, it's I think it's almost considered bad to me because a movie that I never want to see again, 
it's almost kind of like it's a bad movie. I mean, to you, I like I re I respect it was a well done movie. I've the walked, movie was good to watch. Have you ever walked out of a movie? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. Okay. And I was like twelve, and I still was like, okay. "This sucks. I'm okay. leaving." I have walked out of a movie. I couldn't tell you what movie it was though, but I know I have before. It's probably so bad that it was like I'm just walking. I've out had right. a I've had a girlfriend be like, "We need to leave. This movie sucks," and I'm like, "But I want to watch it." I'm leaving, so I left. Uh, bye. <laughs> Why are you? I Nowadays, can't. I would just see like be like, see you later. Oh my god, he'd be dating these freaking man children. I mean, woman children. Man. Anyways, so but yeah, I don't know, man. Branding. <laughs> get, get that's like a McDonald's tattoo. Da -da 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 -da. That's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Yep.